Now let's talk business, shall we? I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that I think the person you want to prank is uh, the kind of person who, uh, who acts like you, thinks like you, looks a bit like you, and is on those nerves of yours every single second of yeah. the day. I'm right, Anna. Go yeah. on, tell us who it is. My twin brother, Robert. Your twin brother, Robert. OK, and why are we pranking him in particular? Because he's annoying and he copies everything that I do quite a lot of time. He's always pulling pranks, so it'd be nice to get him back. I hate that. And apparently you share the same room, so does that cause oh, yeah. any, any trouble? Well, yeah, because we can't decide what we want to watch on TV because he likes wrestling and I like watching nature programmes, so okay. it's, it gets into an argument. So, once he's started having a go at you and, and you know trying to wind you up, is there a way that you can get back at him? Yeah, do this dead annoying voice. Do you? Can we hear it? <laughs> and I go, stop it! And when he asks questions, he'll go, wow. Well, I'll tell you what, you could, you could help me out here. Could you say, let's have a look at Robert a bit closer in, in the voice? Let's have a look at Robert. Lewis and Robert are twins. Not the identical kind, but twins nevertheless. Lewis finds it annoying having a twin because Robert gets on his nerves all the time. Like most twins, they do almost everything together. They're in the same class at school and even share the same bedroom. Lewis has had enough. So basically, what we're finding out here is that Robert is always in your face, making your life a misery. Well, I think we should do something about this, OK? What, what should we do? Well, it's really hard to keep a secret from him because we do everything together. But we both uh, like cars. What do you both like about cars? Well, he likes the look of them and I like um, fixing them. How about we take um, you and Robert to a car wash? We could do that, couldn't we? And then get it to have a bit of a clean of it. Uh, and maybe when Robert has a go, things start to go wrong. Oh, yeah, like, because when he touches them, they could fall off. Yeah, yeah. Way. Yeah, you can put a sponge on the wing mirror and it falls off, or you yeah. can go around the front of the car and the bumper falls off. We can do all that sort of stuff. But why don't we make it um, a, a bit bigger? Why don't we tell Robert that he's washing a car that belongs to a member of the royal family? Yeah. You like that? How about Prince William? He's oh, cool. Yeah. He'd have a car, wouldn't he? Yeah, because then it'd be, like, it'd be real trauma if things fall off. I love it. High five. You ready for this? Yep. Ninjas, take one to the first location. <laughs> OK, Lewis, because we're going to be ruining a car, I thought I'd bring you to the best place to find one, and that, of course, is a scrapyard. Now, we don't want to ruin a perfectly good car because that'd be a bit of a waste, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, what are we looking for, do you think? One that's wrecked, but not too wrecked, so it's believable. Yeah, it has to be believable, doesn't it? Well, listen, I've spoken to the guys in there. They've given us permission to have a look at whatever we want, so hard hats are on, gloves are ready. Let's see what we can find. What about this little beauty? It's a bit bashed up, and I don't exactly like blue, and it's just a bit small. Wrong colour, too small. That's OK, there's plenty more to see. Oh, yeah. Here's a good one. I like this one. Can we take it? No, stop mucking around, Barry. Come on. Would Prince William drive a soft top? No. How about one with sports alloys? It'd be nice, but this car's only got one. Ah, uh, yes. Good point. It really is exhausting work, isn't it? <laughs> exhausting. Hey, Lewis, what about this one? It's I right, think we might have found our car. It's in great nick. What do you reckon? 1.416 valve. 1.416 valve, very nice. But would Prince William be driving around in it? No, I think he'd be driving a bit, something a bit more fancier. He'd have a posh car, wouldn't he? Yeah. What we could say, though, to make it more believable, is that maybe he's bought the car as a present for one of his staff. Maybe his press agent or something's coming down the road and yeah. he, he wants to buy them a car as a, as a present. Yeah. Does that sound good? Yeah. Would, would your brother believe that? Yeah. He would? Yeah. Are we going to take it? Yeah. Beautiful ninjas! We've got the car. We'll see you back at HQ. So here we are, Lewis. Welcome to Prank HQ. What do you think? Wow. Cool. It's great, isn't it? This is where we turn your prank dreams into prank reality. Follow me over here and I'll tell you why. You recognise the car, of course. You picked yep. it earlier on. This is Graham, one of Prank Patrol's top mechanics. Lewis, how are you doing, Graham? How are you doing, you all right, mate? You well? Go on. <laughs> this, of course, is the motor. Do you like it? Lovely. It's really nice. Spotless, in fact. Now, great Lewis fight. has got some ideas as to what we can do to it, or, or with it, to prank his brother. So, Lewis, fire away. Well, when Robert touches the wind mirror, it might fall off. Yep. You could, like, scratch the paint when he's washing it. Scratching good. And the window might fall through. Fantastic. Excellent. So, is there anything else that we can do with the car that maybe you can help us with? Well, yeah, there might be. Just, um, just let me have a little think. Uh... Oh! Well, we could do something like that as well on the day. Yeah. That would get nice. a good reaction. Um, what about paintwork? Well, I'll tell you what we could do. We could, uh, we could paint this red bonnet here. We could put a layer of white on top of it, then another layer of red on top of it. So when he washes it in the car wash, 
the top layer of red comes off, leaving a load of white, messy paint on the bonnet. And there's Robert looking at the Royal's car, thinking he's just wrecked it. What has gone on here? What a great prank. Nice one. Should we get Fantastic. to it, then? Let's do it. Beautiful. Let's get ready. Brilliant. OK, we're all ready. Right, guys, I've prepped the car. As you can see, you just need some spray paint now. Thank you. Let's all get to it. You know what I'm doing, Lewis? I'm, I'm just rolling with it. It, just a little bit there, a little bit more. Looking good, Lewis. Um, hello. Um, we've got a couple of things to do now. We've already sorted out the paint job on the bonnet, so that's going to come off when Robert starts washing it. The bumper falls off, that's also sorted. Lewis and Graham are now loosening the wing mirror so that when Robert leans onto it, it's going to fall off as well. And I am trying to loosen this bit of window so that when Robert sprays the power washer at it, it's actually going to drop down into the door and water is going to spray into the car and soak the insides. And, uh, of course, he knows this is Prince William's car, so uh, he's going to be slightly shocked. And I think that is just about sorted. Are you ready for that? Can I try it? Yep. Go for it, Bob. Robert leans on it. Oh, oh, perfect. Fantastic. Great job. How are you feeling, Gray? Oh, absolutely brilliant. Lewis? I can't wait to see his face. Do you know what? If that's going to get a reaction, wait till you see what I've got lined up for you over here. Now, as we know, Lewis, we're going to be pretending that the car belongs to one of the Prince's employees. And Robert, your brother, is going to get into a lot of trouble when he starts breaking the car. And I thought, why don't we go one better? It's Prank Patrol. Just stand over there a second. You're going to be the Prince in this demonstration, OK? You're walking around the car, you're inspecting it, making sure it's all in good working order. And Robert is going to be told to flick a switch like this one. When he does, this will happen. <laughs> and off, and off, and off, and, and off. There we go. <laughs> How's that? It looks good, doesn't it? How do you think Robert's going to react when he soaks the prints? Very embarrassed. I really hope so. That's a top prank right there. Listen, let's get you out of those wet clothes while we do that. Have a look at this. Sorry, mate. Recipe for a prank. Motor mischief. Do you know someone who's way too into their precious motor car? Well, here's a fun way to make their life a little more interesting with this week's recipe. All you need is a pen, piece of paper, and a little creative writing skill. Just write a note that says, I'm sorry I damaged your car. Please give me a call so I can give you my details. Hmm. Make sure you include a fake phone number, or even a real number that would be really fun for them to call. <laughs> Try to find out when your neighbour generally uses their car. If you can, stick the note on the windscreen just before the owner gets into their car. Then, hide out of sight. Your target will drive themselves crazy searching every inch of their car for a non-existent scratch or dent. If the car owner has a mobile phone, you could stick around for the added fun of when they call your fake phone number. It'll be the icing on the cake. Lewis, tell me what you think of this car. Pretty nice. It's a good runner as well, you know, and it's your job to keep it looking all nice and sparkly. Yours and Robert's job, of course, because you're going to be cleaning this at the prank. Now, I've got a bit of a surprise for you here, because seeing as you're twins, I thought I'd incorporate that into the prank a little bit. So I've got this car's twin right over here. Now, they're pretty much the same. Same make, same model. The only real difference is this great big huge dint right in the side of the panel. And this bit hanging and that bit hanging off as well. Now, what we're going to do is get you and Robert to clean the cars. We're then going to distract Robert's attention. When he goes away, we're going to do the old switcheroo, cross the cars over. He's then going to come back and get, he's going to get blamed for that massive dent in the side of the car and also the panel which will fall off. How's he going to react to that? He's going to freak out. It's going to be cool, isn't it? Well, listen, they're both ready. Ninjas can take us to the location. We can go and meet our royal member of the family. Ah, oh! oh! Ninjas. <laughs> Now, there is one very important part of our prank, and that is, of course, our visit from our royal. Would you like to meet him? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll do the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please... What's that? I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a telegram. It's a telegram from the Queen. Oh, she watches Prank Patrol. She's a big fan. Hello, Mum. Um, she also says, look there, um, dear sirs, it's not going to be... Oh, Prince William can't come. What are we going to do now? I don't know. Um, oh, hang on. It says Prince Harry can make it. Prince Harry's here, is he? Oh. Big introduction one more time, sorry about this. Um, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please welcome Prince Harry. Good day, pleasure to meet you. Now, where's Wand's car? 
Uh, well, one's car is at um, is at one's prank location, ready for one's prank to take place. One. Sorry, I should point out here that uh, this isn't actually Prince Harry. It's a prank patrol actor called Elliot. How you doing, Elliot? All right, nice mate. Nice to meet you. This is Lewis. Hi. Nice to meet you, Lewis. Did you believe that? Yeah. It's good, wasn't it? Nice work. Now listen, Prince Harry doesn't often visit car washes, so uh, what are we going to say? Why are you going to be there? Well, I'm picking up a car from my press officer and I'm obviously going down there to check it out for myself, you know, check it's in good condition. And for characteristics, how are you going to convince Robert that you are the prince? Does he have certain looks or ways that he wore? Well, I'll strike a few poses, you know, regal kind of poses, you know. Throw it to one side. Yeah, very nice. Uh, the eyebrow thing, that works. Robert's going to fall for that, isn't he? Definitely. <laughs> OK, so the van's loaded. It's now time to make the phone call to Robert and get him involved in this prank. Now, you said earlier on it was hard to keep a secret from him, so yeah. what have you told him already? That I've been picked for a scheme for 10 to 13-year-olds and it's supposed to be like work experience and they might need a helping hand. And, of course, we've backed you up with that because we've sent this letter. And the letter says, um, dear sir, you've been invited to a car wash for work experience, so he's got no denying it now. So what we're going to do is ring him now, tell him that it's definitely happening and that he's invited. Yeah? Make the call. Hi, Robert, it's Lewis. Um, th you know, this car wash, they said they want um, a helping hand so you can come. Alright then. What, do we get a pay raise or that? No. No. What time? Around one o'clock. One o'clock? Around one o'clock? Yep. Okay. Okay, see ya. See ya. Bye. Bye. Has he gone? Yep. Lewis, you're killing me then, man, honestly. Um, so, he wants to get paid. I'm sure we can sort something out like getting. We can pay him in water and pay him in sponges. I'm sure that'll be fine. But he's, he said yes, he's definitely going to be there. Are you happy? Yep. Oh, I'm, I'm so nervous. Should we just get there and see how it goes? All right then, ninjas, take us to prank location. How will Robert react when a car he is washing falls apart before his very eyes? Will he believe he has soaked the real Prince Harry? Or will he think the whole prank is a washout? It's all coming up on Prank Patrol. We're all set for the prank on Lewis's brother, Robert. Say hello, Lewis. Hello. Now, this is the very car that we're going to be pretending belongs to Prince Harry. It's also the same car we're going to be using to prank Robert. Just tell everybody what we've done to the car. Well, we've loosened the wind mirror, so that'll come off. We've loosened the front bumper, the back bumper and the back light, so they'll come off. And we've put a special paint on the bonnet, so when Robert rubs it, it'll come off. Basically, Robert is going to trash the car without knowing it and get blamed for it. Yeah, baby. Now, if you follow me out here, you'll see the other two twins that feature in this prank, but they're not people, uh, they're people carriers. There's a fine example of a lovely one, that's what it should look like. But this one's twin brother, if you follow me over here, is in a bit of a mess. It's not nice, is it, that? It's a massive, great big dent in the side of it, and uh, the panel will actually fall off. Now, what's going to happen is Robert, during the prank, is going to be cleaning this car. He's then going to get distracted. We're going to do the switcheroo and swap the two cars over. He's then going to come back to find the damage that he has caused, well, he's going to get blamed for, on the side of the car like that. And that's it, the prank's done. Sound good? Really? One of those. Are you excited? Yeah. So am I. Let's give it a bit of a clean first, though, of course. Make sure it's sorted. It's not working, sorry. Second. Should be working. Maybe there's a bit of a blockage, maybe. <laughs> oh! Oh, ninjas. Nom, 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 nom. Uh oh. just had word that Robert is only three minutes away. So we're getting ready. You can see Lewis has got his, uh, his car wash costume on. Looks nice. And, uh, and what's this bit? There's the microphone and the receiver in the pocket. Yeah, and uh, Robert's going to be wearing one of those as well. And this is the control room where everything gets filmed. Now, you're going to be just outside these windows and we're going to be filming everything from inside here. Are you ready for this? Yep. Let me show you what's outside. 
Of course, you recognise the red car, which we've rigged to fall to pieces. Yep. And if you look under the bonnet that way, you'll see Steve, our car wash manager. How are you doing, Steve? All right. Hi, guys. How's it going? It's going great. I'm just putting the finishing touches to one last special effect. So now, as well as everything falling off and the paint running, I've rigged it so that smoke will start to pour out from underneath the bonnet. Your brother's going to think the car is a complete write-off. Brilliant. Nice touch. Good luck with it, Steve. We'll see you in a bit. Of course, over there, you can see uh, that's the, the power washers that are going to be soaking Prince Harry. And yeah. if you walk over here, you'll see Prince Harry himself. Hello, Your Highness. Hello. Yeah, all right. So we've just heard that Robert is four minutes away, so you better make yourself scarce right. in position. OK, good luck. Tally ho. Thank you. You Tally too. Home. All right, Sid, it's all yours. Thanks very much. And, of course, the whole prank is going to be covered with our hidden cameras. So we've pretty much covered everything, haven't we? We've yeah. done all we can for the prank. Are you ready for this? Yep. Quite excited. Give us one of those. Good luck, mate. I'll see you in a bit. Go and get in position. Oh, and ninjas! Hide the van! <laughs> the blueprint for Lewis's prank is a work experience day at a car wash with a car that gets accidentally dented and another one that totally falls apart. A visit from Prince Harry, who gets a good soaking and then ends up having his car stolen and it will all seem like it's Robert's fault. Here comes Robert arriving at the car wash where Lewis and Steve are waiting for him. Right, I suppose, uh, I suppose you know why you're here today. Yeah, time. Exactly. Now Steve's got Robert straight into his waterproof gear, so let's get the pranking started. All right. Well, let's get you two working on the first car then, shall we? I've just got to attend to some stuff in the office, so I'll leave you to it. Yeah. Lewis, you want to do this side? Yeah. And, yeah, Robert, you want to do the other side? Yeah. All right. Right, how are you doing, lad? It's all good. Doing all right. That's it. Leave your sponges in there. Just want to have a quick word here in here. All right. Forgot to give you these. They're just little, just little questionnaires. It's now, just, while uh, Steve's got the boys distracted in the office, it's time for the ninjas to do the old switcheroo with the cars. Oi, ninjas! Watch out for the bucket. Oh, ninjas! Anyway, the boys have no idea that the perfect car they've been working on has been replaced with a dented one. Good work, ninjas. We have a car out there on the court which belongs to a member of the royal family the royal family the royal family yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly because basically when prince harry go prince harry it's prince harry car i shouldn't have said that what? i shouldn't have said that you better not get it wrong before I, before I let you loose on that one, you're better off finishing the, uh, the one that you were working on before, so... Now remember, Robert has no idea that the cars have been switched. Yeah. Mm. Whoa! What? Big gint! What have you been doing? How's it going? Didn't Look you? at this, what he's done. What he's done. What is this? Where's this from? I don't know. Who was washing this side? Him. How did you do that? I don't know, I can't like that. How did you do it, though? Well, he, doesn't, he doesn't just become dinted and scratched. You must have done something to yeah. it. <clears throat> right, it's OK. It's all right. We've... Uh, we're insured. We're insured. Brilliant. Robert is totally in, uh, falling for the prank. Now let's see how he gets on we, we, with Prince Harry's car. So look at this. You wouldn't think that this costs £150,000, would you? See? Bulletproof windshield. All the glasses bulletproof. Yeah, right. Well, we need to get started on this one. I'll be back in a bit. Don't forget to use the pressure washer. Yeah. Is that really a good idea? Let's find out. Oh, there goes Robert. the rear light. <laughs> Robert! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You not out the back light. <laughs> oh no, there goes the window. Robert. <laughs> and the wing mirror. Robert! <laughs> do the funny. Go on, do the funny! Oh, the front bumper's gone now. Hang on, so's Robert. Where's he going? He's still got the bonnet to do. He's playing. No, he's playing. Now, I'm not an expert on car paint, but that doesn't look right to me. It doesn't sound too good either. I think they've short-circuited the electrics. What? I've just been doing it and all things have been coming off. Where's the smoke coming from? Whoa, Robert! Where's the... Ha! <coughs> ah! Ha! I was just spraying it. Robert! It all, all everything's like fire. The smoke coming out from under the bonnet! Yeah, even the front, But how did you not... The front 
front bumper off. The paint's coming off. The tail lights, but this car is meant to be, it, it's meant to be indestructible. This thing is meant to stand up to a tank and you've wrecked it. What have you done? Sorry? Sorry. Just when the twins oh. think things oh. can't get any worse, here comes the prince. Quick, boys, roll out the red carpet. Try and keep it over this way, mate. Stand to attention. Hello, Hi, Stephen. Nice to see you again. Uh, hello, hello again, Your Highness. Um, really soon, boys, with you. Can I introduce uh, Lewis and Robert and his brother? These nice have been you, Lewis. helping me this morning. Nice to meet you, Robert. Enjoying it. it. Having a good yep. day. Brilliant. Is my car ready, Stephen? It's it's nearly ready. Is your that my car there? Yeah. Yes, Your Highness. What? Would you like to to follow me, please? I don't think Whoa. Prince Harry's press agent's going to want this car anymore. Stephen, what's going on? Uh, we'll sort it out. Well, we, we've, we've been having a few uh, problems. Yeah. Been using power washers on it? Uh, uh, yes, yes, we have. Yes, we have. Um, Which power washer? Um, Can I have a go? Which one? Uh, yeah, That'd uh, be OK? Yes, yes, certainly. Um, let's, one, you want to, uh, do you want to turn it on the wall, please? It's on the main one light on? stick. It sticks, that one, someone. <laughs> Oh, oh, your highness, I, I'm terribly sorry. I'm, I'm terribly, terribly sorry. Um, Stephen, what are you thinking? I cannot believe it. I, 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 I'm sorry, your highness. It's terrible. Um, uh, would you, would you care to? Um, would Get you me a to... towel. Yes, certainly, your highness. Would you care to? Um, wait in here. Um, wait there. Whilst the prince recovers from his right royal soaking, it's up to the boys to try and make it up to him. He's asked that we wash this car. So, here are the keys. Just take care of them, okay? And just, just clean it over and try, try not to wreck it this time. So the boys get down to work and here comes the prince's chauffeur. Hold on a minute, that's not the chauffeur we saw before. Who's this imposter? I need to take this now, there's been a change of plan. So I need to take this now and get, the get it filled with petrol. Okay. So have you got the keys? Yes, I have. You've got the keys, OK. Oh, right, boys, keys. you never them. give a stranger okay. the keys. Thanks very much. Oh, okay. dear. Thanks, lads. Welcome. Oh, no, the shady chauffeur's done a runner with the royal car. What's the prince going to say? He's going to change your plan. He said he's going to change your plan. He used to go get it filled with the petrol. A guy who was a in the seat with a hat. He said he's going to change the plan. He's going to get it filled up with petrol. What, what guy? I just, a guy. He, he, was, just, he was in a suit. He was in a suit with a hat on. What, a, a chauffeur? Yeah, a chauffeur. The prince has only got one chauffeur and he's been in there. He's just taking the car then. I don't believe this. You've let the prince's car get stolen! I thought, I thought everyone was shopping. I wonder if the prince is going to believe that. We is have some kind of joke? No. Is this not, not any no. kind of joke? We, it was a guy just as here and came up and asked with the key, can you, he said he needed to fill it up with petrol. Not a joke. Not a joke. Well, I think Robert's been pranked enough. So let's go and put him out of his misery. Yes, yeah, Agent Beast here. Hello, sir, hello. Now what's this with the problem? What's the problem here? Um, the car's was deep. I was car's been stolen. Really? Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Lewis, tell Robert what's happening. You've been pranked by a prank patrol. So let's have a sit, shall we? Let's talk about this. Can you do so not, like that? not only were you washing the prince's car, but you wrecked it as well. Yes. You managed to knock the bumpers off, the wing yeah. mirrors, the paint job. Yeah. You made it smoke. Yeah. Somebody stole his car as well. Yeah. And you put a dent in the side of a yeah. big people carrier. So that, that means you owe us, what, about 40,000 plus 150,000? It's a lot of money there, isn't it? <laughs> Just as well it's all one great big prank. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, what a great sport. Lewis, well done, one of those. I think the prank did go to plan because Robert believed it on his face was a picture. So let's sum up what Robert's day consisted of. He wrecked the prince's car, wrecked the lights, wrecked the bumper, wrecked the paint job, then decided that he was going to give the keys to Prince Harry's chauffeur's car away to somebody else who then stole it and cost the prince about £200,000. Not a very good day for Robert, but a great day for pranking. When I, when I came out on a solid dent, I felt, I felt really bad, even though 
I knew, I knew I hadn't done it. I felt really bad about it. When the smoke started coming out of the car, they knew that something was wrong. Smoke doesn't normally start coming out of a car and blowing all over the place, but this was just going everywhere. When Barney walked in, I think Robert was quite relieved because then he realised it was all a prank and not actually for real life, so he wouldn't have to pay for all the damage. I think Robert definitely did think it looked like Prince Harry. From the moment I stepped out of the car, he was in awe. I did believe it was Prince Harry, but I wasn't really sure. I'm not worried about my brother, because he'll never pull a prank as big as this on me, so... I don't be so sure about it. <laughs> <laughs> Yet another top prank, wouldn't you say so, guys? Yeah! Can you believe it? I didn't even get wet. <laughs> Next time on Prank Patrol, we take a look back at my top five pranks from the first series. We also revisit the Barrett brothers to attempt our first ever payback prank. You do not want to miss this one. Barney's got a headache now. See you tomorrow and get ready to meet Dr. Wee next here on the CBBC.